Um, you know, I may want to have this Artemis going and try to hit their shield with it. Since they've got three shields. Ah, oh, please. No. Ugh. Oh, that was such a big missile. I'm so glad that didn't hit. Oh, man. We are so down on our weapons right now. This is definitely not good. Well, I'm glad that that blew up right there, because that causes no damage if it uh, blows up on a system that has nothing going on there. Okay, um, we really need to get this hit. I'm still going to go with the Artemis, because I want their shield down. Please, no. Oh boy. Ugh. Okay, Cookie is going to end up dead in a second here. And you are already pretty much dead. Let's have you over here. Oh, this is a very, very bad situation. I'm gonna need you to go here. Let's vent this out. Oh boy. Cookie, please don't die. I'm gonna have to go here. Uh, actually, Cookie, you know what? Why don't you repair that? Oh, we are in so much trouble right now. We can jump. We need to get out of here. That is just bad news. Uncharted Nebula or NG? We're gonna go to the NG. Ooh, that was bad. We still have fires on board, so this is not a good situation, and we're losing oxygen. All right, we've arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Okay, bad shit is going on right now. Um, why don't you go in there? Because you're gonna die otherwise. Hopefully Cookie can manage to fix this. You know what? You need to fix this with him. And we are going to open some doors so that this fire gets, oh, Frickin' hell, seriously? This is just bad news, isn't it? And they're double powering it right there. Well, at least uh, something's working out. Let's close you. Because there's no fire on that side of the ship. Come on. Okay, good. Got the fire out there. Cookie is still not doing well. I can't have him go through a non-oxygenated area or he'll end up dead. Um, we'll have you go and help with the fire. Or the repairs. Okay, that's, um, that could have gone really badly. And it was going there. It was getting too super bad. Whew. Just wait for some oxygen to come back so Cookie can go through here without dying. I don't want Cookie to die when there's no reason for him to die. That would just be ridiculous. Alright, who else needs health? You definitely need some health. You, Charlie, can start fixing that. Um, you can go back here. Cookie, why don't you start helping him with that? Get Cadrill healed up. And Leek will go there put you back in there. 70, 70, 100, 100, 100, 100. All looking good. We are all back up and running. And the shields are looking a-okay. You should not be the one piloting that, but you can definitely, um, have the shields going there. We'll turn that down because we do not need the extra power in there just now. Okay. That went very badly. <laughs> Ugh. I will do my best not to get caught up in that because that's very painful. Anyways, we make contact with an isolated NG science station who are staying 
output despite the likelihood of a mantis invasion. They suggest you trial some of their experimental technology, including fuel, drone parts, and scrap. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I could really use a store right now, though. It would be fantastic if I could find one of those stores. Holy crap! A weapon just floating in space! Along with some scrap. Oh, we've got a, uh, a pike beam, which is... you might have seen it before. This is a, a very, very dangerous weapon. It can cut across entire ships, assuming there's no shield to stop it. Note, the beam damage is reduced by one for every shield it passes through, which allows for partial shield piercing. Required power is two, uh, 16 charge seconds, and it uh, damages one per room. Not a particularly good weapon because of how slow it's going to charge up. Um, also because it can't pierce through shields. But at the same time, it is a very good weapon because if you have their shields down, you can um, do damages to multiple rooms. So I'm not sure if I want to keep it or sell it. It's, it's very much a good weapon to have. But at the same time... I don't know. I really need a store right now is what I need. Great. The only other ship at this beacon messages you. Finally, after months of waiting, someone has fallen into our trap. It's a slug light cruiser. With a missile and a laser. Um, they don't look too bad. I think we should be okay here. I think we should be pretty okay. Mainly, the one worry I have is how much evasion they have. And if that hits. Okay, that didn't hit. We're okay. Come on. They've got some really good evasion on their ship. I'm gonna let one more ion blast fire, and then I'm gonna power this up. Try with a missile. If I can get a missile to hit their shield, that would be fantastic. Nice. I'll try with one more missile there. Damn it. I'll use up another missile on these guys. This is a dangerous ship here. Damn it. This is not working out very well for me. There we go. That was a good hit. In fact, I'm going to switch everything to their shields for a bit. I really need to get those shields down. Okay. The shields are pretty much down. I'm going to switch back to this. And we're going to hit the ion blast here for now. Powering up the FTL to escape. Alright. Let's hit here, and hopefully we can stop them from escaping. Actually, we'll hit the back. No, I want to hit the front with that one and the number one on that. Alright, they're repeatedly hailing us. It looks like they want to surrender. Three fuel, one missile, 25 scrap. Hmm. Hmm. There's an issue here. If I do not accept the surrender, it's quite possible that they could fly away before I could manage to charge up my weapons to actually deal another hit. Plus, we've been missing a whole lot against them. But at the same time, I have turned this red, so they shouldn't be able to fly away. We're not going to accept their surrender. Oh, and my other laser was still firing. So it ended up working out, and we got 55 scrap out of it. That is very nice. It won't be 55, because we're going to heal up a bit. But um, it's still really good. And now we've got 165 in our uh, scrap reserves, which is really good. Um... 
I think I'm definitely going to put some more into that. Whoops. Okay, that I want to undo. Accept that. Here we go. Now we've got some extra evasion. I'm kind of wanting to put even more into this so I can get more evasion. But at the same time, I don't really want to because it's very expensive. And there's other things I could be powering up right now, like the shields. If I got a third shield, that would be exquisite. It truly would. Ooh, and a store? Let's check out the store. Engie ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home? We've read this before. They've got a heavy laser, which would be nice. Let's see here. The heavy lasers can wreck or wreak more havoc than their smaller burst laser counterparts. Requires one power. Ooh. Charge time is nine seconds, so it's pretty quick. One shot per charge. Damage per shot is two. Fire chance is low. Breach chance is low. That's a pretty nice laser. Here's a small bomb. It's a self-porting explosive that uh, damages systems and crew, but not the hull. Um, can target your own ship. So a good reason to have it target your own ship is so you can um, kill people that are on your ship. Um, in all honesty, it's both good and bad. It only requires one power, which is very nice. And it's a self-teleporting bomb. Um, we're going to sell the pike beam, at the very least. I don't want to keep that. It's a good weapon, but I don't want it. Um, the charge time for this is 13 seconds. Charge time for this is 9 seconds. But this is only one shot, and they're going to have shields up. A teleporting bomb could be really nice. And it will allow us to kill crew on another ship. Um, without destroying the ship itself. This could actually be a very lucrative weapon to have because we can take down ships without killing the ship fully. Hmm. What do I want to do? If I do that, then I'm going to be selling my Artemis because this is going to use up uh, missiles just like the Artemis and I'm only going to have one or the other. There's no point in having both. How long does the Artemis take to charge? 11 seconds. A teleporting bomb can often be better than a missile because the missile has a chance to slide over the shield and miss. Whereas a teleporting bomb will go on the inside. Still, it can miss, definitely, for sure. There's no doubt about that. But I find it's a little bit more accurate. I think I'm going to go with the uh, small bomb here. This might be a silly move on my part, but it is uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch that out. Okay. And uh, for the rest, I'm going to fix up the ship. Because I can use that. Um, also, I'm go ahead and buy some of this. And we're going to need missiles at this point, so I'll buy a few of those as well. Okay. Not perfect purchases, I imagine, but um, we'll do what we can. We pick up a distress call from a civilian ship. It's being chased by a mantis ship. If we manage to take out the mantis ship, we get scrap from the mantis ship, and later on we should be able to get scrap from the uh, civilian ship. We're going to aid this. This could be uh, dangerous on our part, but we'll do what we can. You frown, power up the weapons, and prepare to engage the mantis ship. Not today. Not today. Alright, we're going to power up the S-Bomb, and they have a crew teleport, so they are probably going to be on our ship momentarily. Um, we will definitely use our, uh, our guys here. And this is Mantis, so they're going to be dangerous, and there's probably going to be four of them. No, actually two, because this is a, a dual teleport here. We're going to use our Mantis guy pop you there and we're going to use you on the weapons so that um, we have someone powering those weapons in the meantime and we're gonna wait with Charlie a bit 
because I don't want Charlie going in there alone. Charlie will not be able to defeat two mantises on his own. Okay, and hold. You're getting low on health, which is bad. Um, hmm. Let's see, how are we going to work with this? Why is this shield not up? It's ridiculous. Alright, um... Right, I have got to uh, do some serious work on this. We're gonna hit your shields. And all these are up. I was not paying attention because I was worrying about this. And our oxygen went down. Great. We need to heal that. This is bad. This is very bad. Charlie may die here. Whew. They got out of there just in time. Let them mess with our door locks for a bit. Now that they've managed to uh, get through there, they'll come into this station over here. Um, I'm going to send uh, Telek over here. Because in here, we are very capable of defeating enemies. <laughs> Whereas they are not so much. You two go and work on this oxygen. As you can see, our bomb sometimes flies out to the side, which is not where we want it. Um, also, I'm going to switch where our bomb's hitting and hit here because I want this to not uh, allow them to teleport back. Perfect. We got that down. Now I'm going to switch to the Ion Blast because I have used up way more than enough bombs. As long as that teleport is down for now, we should be okay. Alright, you two should head on out to various parts of the ship. Actually, no, why don't you repair the doors? I'll just be our repair crew for the moment. As long as those weapons are down, we're sitting pretty. This is looking good. I think we should be okay. If we can hit. That is definitely an important part of uh, being okay. Okay, that's good. We've only got two left on this. One. I think we've got this in the bag now. Damn it. Thought we had that. This may be a little bit harder than at first expected. O2 low? Why is my O2 low? You dudes fix this. What is up with my oh? Haha! Oh. <laughs> not powered! Why is it not powered? What gives? We've got nothing new here. What is going on? Where did my extra power go to? I do not know. Alright, so we got a good amount of scrap out of that which means we'll get healed up. And um, we also got some scrap from the uh, the crew, which apparently didn't survive the assaults. We take what we can from the remains, though. Which ends up being pretty good. Um, I don't know where our extra power went. I thought we had... Oh, it's you two. You two are not sitting anywhere, so we don't have extra power currently. I see what's going on. That's what's going on. That's the problem with relying on these guys for power. It's because sometimes it bites you in the ass. Um, let's put another power into that. Um, to at least have the oxygen. 